um, through the body, okay? I want you to really feel like you're hollowing when you exhale. Let's take this arms back up. This time we come back straight with the arms, head, neck, shoulders lift. And we're gonna to start to get into a nice dynamic flow, but gentle. We reach into the back as we breathe and we reach back down. Feel those arms resisting. Exhale again to lift, lift, lift. Inhale at the top and exhaling down. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale to lift the chest. This time we're gonna curl into a little imprint of the spine and exhale to come down. Gonna lose a breath cycle there as we inhale to lift the head, neck, shoulders, arms come down. We lift one leg, we lift the other and inhale to come back down. And exhale to lift, pressing the feet together and the knees over the hips and we come back down with that inhale. So make those inhales nice and slow, exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. And inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Now keep that lower back on the mat. Let's extend those legs as well as the body comes up and squeeze those legs and come back down as the body comes down. And reaching up, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three. That's your inhale. And up, two, three, four, five. Hold that there. Inhale, open your legs. Exhale, close and inhale back down. Three, four, five, and up, two, three, four, five. Inhale, slow, exhale, and back down. We'll do one more of these coordinations. And up, two, three, four, five, and open and close. Bring that back down and bring the head, neck, and shoulders down. Open the arms to the side, squeeze the legs together. Let's just let the neck relax and stretch. We take the knees to one side, head to the other side, taking that back to center. Take the legs to the other side and over and taking that back to center. And again, we're going to do three sets here. And over to me, head goes in opposite direction and center. And over to the other side, head goes into the other direction and center. Last set, over, use those abs, use the breath into the back and exhale. Inhale over, use those abs to support your back and center, very nice. And now we're gonna come into a beautiful 100. If you can't do it, just go half, okay? Inhale, lift, head, neck, shoulders, Reach those legs out if you can. Take them here or leave them here. It doesn't matter. Pump into those arms like as if you want to splash some water, okay? So we're inhaling for five counts and we're exhaling for five counts. As if you want to just deepen that tummy and feel like a furnace waking up inside of your core. Use the top of your core, those muscles here, into the obliques, your serratus anterior and posterior, Drag those shoulder blades down and really feel the chest start to wake up as well. Feel the muscles of the chest and shoulders. Feel the neck curling in so you don't drag your neck and look at your toes. No, curl the neck in. So we're using the upper abdominals to really hold the head. Let's see if we can lower those legs. Now always squeeze in the sits bones together to wake up that pelvic floor. And now we're squeezing those legs together. Keep pumping and breathing or bring your toes towards your shins. Draw that belly in, lift the chest and keep pumping. Just breathing in and breathing out. Let's go for two more cycles. Pull that tummy in. One more cycle. Pull that tummy in. Hold it up there. Bring those knees in. Head, neck and shoulders go down. And we rest, beautiful. I'm gonna bring my legs down. If you need to help yourself with your hands to bring the legs down too, because you wanna be protecting that lower back, okay? We don't wanna be just yanking off the back at any point. So now we're gonna do our roll-ups before we do our roll-overs. So roll-ups, we take our arms out, press those legs into the mat. Don't pop those ribs, you know. Keep that rib cage melted, bring those arms again, pulling on those straps as if you really have that energy into the waist here and you peel yourself off. Really try to think of peeling yourself like as if you have each vertebra coming up. Tuck that chin in, scoop that waist and lift over that waist. Flex those feet, point those toes and come back down. 
really letting your spine come down one at a time. Reach those arms and lifting, peeling up, scooping. Reach over, flex and point and back down you come. Let's go one more here, reaching up, peeling up. Scoop over, feel that length through the back, flex those feet, feel that stretch, point and back down. Give yourself time to get that nice stretch. Beautiful, take your arms around and all the way to the side. Now we're gonna do the rollovers today. So I'm gonna make some space because sometimes you, you drift up when you're rolling. So make some space in the back of your mat because we're gonna roll over. So we're rolling over like into plow. To do that, we're gonna take the feet in. Hands gonna help us right here. Okay, so you're gonna really use those arms a lot. So your rollover could either be your reverse crunch here or you could come with me and do the whole rollover. So I'm gonna take my legs to 70 degrees. Tummy stays flat, back is on the mat. I'm gonna to inhale to take it to 90 degrees and I'm gonna peel myself off, no pressure into the neck, stay on the back of the shoulder blades. Okay, try to get a nice length through the spine. So don't just crunch your waist here, get the length through the spine. If you can, tap your legs behind, flex the feet and open them to shoulder width, draw the belly in and then peel yourself back down with the legs open keeping the chest wide, bring those toes to 90, point them there, bring them down, draw the, into the thighs, squeeze, zip up, inhale. We're going one more here, zip over, tap, flex, open, press those heels away and come down. Let's actually do sets of three, okay? Lengthening away, point those toes, take it down, squeeze those legs, bring it up to 90, peel yourself over. Remember, you can just do your reverse crunch, you don't have to do the whole thing, but keep the length in the waist. This time we're gonna leave the legs open, leave the legs open, go down to 70, come over with them open this time, scooping into the belly, tap, flex, squeeze, and then coming down with the legs closed and point and reach down and open, take it over, open, reaching over reaching over, keep lifting in the waist, sucking that belly in, tap, flex. So I'm trying to really get my tailbone to the ceiling, squeeze the legs together and back down. It's a deep stretch. So if it's too much for you, your back, you leave it out. Feel that, you just do your reverse scrunches, could just be here, okay? You don't have to do the whole thing. Reaching, feel that stretch between your shoulder blades, reach back, scoop the belly, Flex the feet, press back the heels away from those six bones, and then drawing that down one vertebra at a time. Very nice. Just bend those knees because you can feel those thighs get a lot of work there. Chest is open. Check your waist is the same length. We're going to put down our right leg, left leg, and stretch it away. Just taking the leg closest to you, and I'm going to lengthen that top leg. That should feel really stretched and open because of what we've just done, we're gonna take that across the body for our leg circles and back to the top. We're gonna to inhale and exhale to complete the movement. And inhale across the body and exhale to complete the movement. Keep reaching that leg away from you, inhale and exhale to complete. Let's go for three more. Inhale and exhale, complete. Inhale, exhale, use that nice full, Forced breath, feel it. Lift, hold, flex the foot. You should start feeling your thigh working. Make sure the waist is the same shape on both sides and opposite direction. And inhale. And for three, reach up. We're going to go three more here. Anchoring with that other oblique. Feeling yourself anchored back with that oblique. One more to go. Feel that thighs really burning now, taking that all the way to the top. Beautiful, point that toe, slide that other leg in and bring both legs up. Lengthen through the back. Sometimes one side shortens, check the waist, take that leg down. Hold it really close to there and just get the stretch into the thigh before we lengthen it away. Okay, ready? We're gonna stretch that away and feel the waist is long, the pubis is in neutral. Get the body in, pop, in position. Then let's take that across the body with the inhale. The bum does lift and we circle it around and back to the top and circle and lift. 
keep zipping across the hip point, joint, joints. So you feel as if you're hollowing away from that line and you really feel yourself hollowing all the way to the rib cage. So you're connecting deeply with that transversus, pulling up. So two more here, reaching, take it all the way to the top. One more, take it all the way to the top, pause. Flex that foot, be going in the opposite direction and around. Pull to the top and for two. Lift and for three. Lift, really reaching around. Lift, lengthening up, reaching it up. Last one coming up. Or did I do one too many? And lift, hold, beautiful. Bring that leg down, bring it in. Feel that stretch into the front of the leg, bring the other leg up. Take a breath, lift the head, neck and shoulders and roll yourself up and balance for your rolling like a ball. Inhaling, exhaling. Rolling like a ball or rolling back. And scooping. and scooping, getting a little hollow there underneath my back, it's a little bit quite hyperlordotic, a lot of us have a big hollow there, so it's reach and then rest here. Let's try to hover because we're going to go into our ab series, okay? So I like to take my legs to 90-90 here and then climb down my thighs to come to this position. Hands on your right leg, left leg goes for your single leg stretch. Keep the chin tucked in, looking towards the belly button, okay? And you stretch that other leg, shoulders are broad, back is broad, chest is open, and reach. Feel energy into those arms, outside hand on shin, inside hand on knee, reaching. And press. Let's go one more set now, coming up. Pull that belly in, and last side, bring both legs in. Legs go out and the arms on the inhale and we bring that in, tuck right up. Draw the belly in, inhale to reach, exhale to pull that back in. Inhale and exhale, pull and inhale and exhale, pull and inhale. Exhale, pull yourself nice and tight. Let's go two more and pull. Let's go one more, reach and pull, take those legs up, hold behind the head nice and gently, like a little hammock for your head. Okay, not a slingshot. So we lift just to the tips of those shoulder blades, draw the belly in, lower those legs and lift them up. So the inhale lowers and the exhale flexes at the hips. The inhale lowers, extends at the hip joint and flexes on the exhale at the hip joint. So we're flexing the body, deepening that flexion with the exhalation and exhale and deepen the chest and the legs come towards each other. Lower and pull that up. Can we do one more? Lower and pull that up, beautiful. Let's go straight into our crisscross here. Lift the head, neck and shoulders. We're gonna turn shoulder to thigh and let the other leg go away. So we're turning to the bent leg. Okay, not to the straight leg, to the bent leg, turning to the bent leg. Keeping the elbows as open as you can. So you're really trying to twist up the rib cage and not at the shoulders. Yeah, does that make sense? So we're twisting the body, not just closing those elbows. The elbows may come to the knee, but what I want is this shoulder to the thigh. Okay, keep the pelvis really stable. So don't let the pelvis rock around. Your knee should stay over your hip joint. Hip joint should stay on the mat, yeah? Bum cheek should stay down. You don't wanna be wobbling the pelvis. You just wanna be twisting from the top. Reach across, last side. Reach across, take it to the center. I'll let you rest the abs for a second as we take the legs up and ready for our hamstring pull. Hamstring pull or scissors, as it's sometimes called. I'm gonna just feel that nice flexion into that um, foot, feel that ankle stretch. Good, point those toes. Now, you're gonna lengthen that one leg away, rolling the spine into a nice neutral here, pelvis as well, but keep the pelvis lined up across, okay? Feel that, can we get that nicely? Good, can we add a little flexed foot? 
Let's try the other side. One side is always gonna be different, right? Reaching that leg, evening out, feel that length, flex that foot, good. Let's go into the full exercise now. Right hands on right, both hands on right leg, lift the body, scoop the waist and go ahead. Open through the chest and back. Two breaths out, pump it out. Inhale to switch, now keep glancing at that pelvis to make sure it doesn't hitch up on one side, yeah? So when you come up with that leg, make sure you're pushing the pelvis to stay straight. Now, if you want to advance this exercise, you can switch in the middle instead of switching at the top, right? You can switch in the middle and scoop back up. You can also just do it with legs bent to wherever you can get to, okay? You just do what you can. Reach, reach, reach. Let's go for one more set out to the side and reach, reach. Not forgetting to flex that top foot. Reach, reach. Take both legs up, head, neck and shoulders come down. Very nice. Take those arms behind. Feel that stretch into the body. Oh, and bring the arms up. Float those knees away from you. I'm gonna put in the teaser here just because it's a nice transition as well to use and hold into your boat or teaser. Teaser prep. And let's try to come back down. The legs will float away slightly as you roll your spine and reach out. And reaching up, scooping, pulling in. Let's try to lengthen one leg. Let's try to lengthen the other leg. And then let's try to lengthen both legs. Let's try to lengthen both legs and arms lift. Good, and roll back down. And then we're gonna go the whole thing. One more reach, teaser one, reaching up, legs lift, arms lift, hold. Take a breath in, breath out, bend those legs, and then go ahead and open the legs to shoulder width and lengthen up to seated position. So we just added the teaser in here, which is out of sequence, but we're not gonna do the whole 34 today because it's not an advanced class. So I'll put that in there. That was advanced. Okay, so shoulder width apart. Let's think of a long spine, okay? So I don't want you here. I want you right up onto those bones. So move the meat off those bones and reach those arms forward, spine stretch forward. This is gonna release the back slightly. I'm gonna draw the chin in, draw the rib cage back and extend the spine nicely. Breathing into the back and then exhale to come back up. Thinking of really peeling the spine back up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, feel the length into that long C curve and the lift out of the waist and the sits bones and reaching forward. Really feel that lift. Draw the breath into the back, bring in the ribcage back and then exhaling to lift. All the way, let's go again. Pull the ribcage back, pressing forward. Inhaling into the back and exhale to lift. I'm just gonna do one more to prep us for the open leg rocker. Scooping into that, exhale. So we're gonna have a little add-on here. And the add-on is to hold onto the ankles or the shins or the toes. And then go ahead and open through the chin, the chest, and just stretching into the back, getting the back nice and long. So I'm looking past my toes, pressing through the legs, inhale across the back, draw across the hip bones, and then rounding into the spine. As I round into the spine, I'm just gonna drag my legs up. And then just to tip myself, I'm gonna bring my hips so I'm in a, in a um, angled position, which will facilitate us lifting our legs back up like what we did in teaser, and you'll see why I put that teaser there, right? So make sure we're gonna rock back with our legs behind us. So we wanna make sure we have space, we don't hit our feet on a table or break something, okay? <laughs> So, oh, on the balcony. Okay, so I'm here. You can stay here for your open leg rocker or you can go into long legs, depending on what your level is. Okay, so I'll do one or two here first. We're gonna breathe in and round the spine. And those of you who know the exercises, you go ahead and you do more repetitions, okay? You can go ahead and work into your exercise and deepen. It's always nice when I go into detail with the exercises for you to revisit all of those details. It helps me so much as well. And lengthen up at the top of that one, okay? So we don't come back here, we come right to this. And then we scoop back into that. I'm really active in my legs, okay? So I, didn't, I don't actually have to hold onto my legs because they're super active. So I'm working into those thighs as well. 
scooping. Let's just do one more here. Keeping my chin tucked in to roll back up and I lengthen through my spine. I'm gonna squeeze my legs together, zipping up. I'm gonna walk down those legs, yeah? So we can go into a corkscrew. Arms to the sides. Take the legs over to one side, squeezing that the toes stay the same length. Semi-circle to the other side, zipping up and pull to center and take it across to the other side and zip across. Reach and pull that to center and take that across and zipping up, reach it all the way across, lift that bum cheek and pull to center and across, zipping up, pull across, zipping up, reach, pull that back to center. Let's go one more set, reach, feel that back and in a nice rounding. We need that push and center, last side, feel that nice. You can always just, obviously you are doing with your legs bent. If you can't straighten your legs, obviously hold and hug those legs in. Take those arms behind us. We're gonna go back into our rocker so that we can come rocking back up to sit up. So if it's available to you or wherever you were with your legs, I'm gonna lift my head, neck and shoulders. I'm gonna start my rocking so that I can rock right back up to my seated position. You can always bend your legs, open your legs as wide as you can, and then lower those legs for our soul. Flex the feet. Arms over the legs. I'm going to turn to the to the opposite arm to the opposite leg. I'm going to scoop into my belly and saw off my baby too. Don't let the other toe roll in. Keep that bum cheek down. Breathe out. Breathe out. Sawing like a sawing action on that toe. Inhale to lift into your erect spine. Feel that length and then rotate. Right rotation on that nice axis and then flexion in that rotation. Reaching the arms in opposition, bum cheek stays down and I saw, and I saw, reaching up. Feel the spine extending to come up tall. Ah, so you're breathing in, in that nice extended spine and you breathe out, flexing in that rotation. Shh, shh. Inhale to extend the spine to nice and upright and breathing out. Inhale, reach around. Exhale, so really let those arms go in opposition. Look past to the back and so lifting and reaching to center. So we just did the opposite with the legs, with the corkscrew, the legs twisting the lower body. And now we're rotating with the upper body, last side. And reaching around, zipping up, lengthen, lengthen, reaching, lift and take that to center. Bring those legs to the center, reach forward. Nice stretch, inhale there. I'm gonna put in something again here for us that's gonna, should be coming later, but we'll do it now. I'm gonna lift those arms, reaching behind us, and then we can extend that spine nice. Just warming up the back line of the body with this. If this is not available to you, you can also go onto your forearms. I'm gonna squeeze those legs together and lift the front of the body nice and open. Feel the chest is open, the shoulders, the arms are feeling strong, fingers pointing out. Push that bum up, long line, legs are squeezed together, don't let the feet roll apart. And then after three breaths, we're coming down with control. Don't just float, fall down, right? Good. Let's lift the spine, bring the arms forward, get a stretch here, and lifting up again. So now we're going to do that again. We're going to add a little leg lift. Reaching, scooping, lifting. Now keeping the feet turned away from you. Don't let them roll apart. We're gonna harbor one leg. If you can do more than a half on a kick, go right ahead and reach. Just squeeze those legs together, bum is up. Other side, three, two, and one, and reach. Hold that, feel that length, and roll that down with control. Flex those feet, lift the spine, lift the arms and reach forward. Surrounding into that spine, take a breath there and then uncurling to come all the way to the top. Slide yourself over a little bit so you can roll onto your tummy now. Okay, now when we're working on our tummy, we wanna think about all the connections that we work on when we're on our back. Exactly the same. So what are we thinking of? The legs are in hip distance. The back is long, the front is strong, okay? The neck 
is in line with the spine. So we're not shearing at the, at the cervical spine. We want to keep that length. So I want you to imagine you have a tennis ball underneath your nose and you're keeping that length. Let's place the hands just in line with the top of the shoulders, the fingertips or the, th the thumbs, I would say. And they're just beside. So don't scrunch up yourself. Go outside of your mat if you have a thin mat or narrow mat, I should say, okay? So let's feel the body nice and long, just holding that position. Just imagine that tennis ball there. I'm just gonna roll the tennis ball around, just relaxing my neck a little bit and rolling it in the opposite direction. Good, so I have that tennis ball underneath my nose. I'm gonna roll that tennis ball away as I inhale. So my chin opens up, neck extends. I'm gonna lift up as I exhale. So my chest extends, my thoracic spine. I draw my tummy in, I'm not sagging into my lower back. I'm pushing my pubis into the mat. Inhale, and then exhale to lower and find your ball. So you're lengthening your neck to find that ball. Okay, legs are active, so active that my knees are lifted and my toes are still down, okay? Inhale, open through the chin, chest lifts. So you exhale, feeling the arms get integrated now as you just hover those elbows. Inhale, and exhale to float down. Reaching. Inhale. Lengthen, open, exhale, lifting. Feel that length, lift a little higher. Inhaling into that. And exhale to lower. Beautiful. Open the legs for me. So they're shoulder width apart and I'm gonna turn my heels towards each other. Now we're gonna be able to lift onto the thighs this time, okay? So just coming off the hips as well. Inhale to open, exhale. I'm lifting off my elbows, draw the tummy in so I can lift up onto my thighs, bringing my belly with me, send my legs long, bring my rib cage in, and then I'm going to come down, lengthening through the spine, elbows come down, chest and head. Let's add on to that, reaching up, lifting up. This time when I come down, I want you to lift your legs with you as you come down, rock off your thighs and onto your ribs, and then rock back again. We've done this before, for those of you who are joining me again. We're just rocking into that, which is still the preparation exercise for the swan dive. Okay, swan dive will be diving with no hands into that rocking, front rocking action. So just lifting into those legs, lifting, feel the glutes working. Beautiful, good. And then lower those legs and come all the way down. Very nice. And then squeeze the legs together again. And then this time I'm going to go into our swimming, okay? So we go straight into our swimming, which again comes later in repertoire, but I put it in here today because we don't get to do it because it's so far down <laughs> in repertoire. We always finish a whole set, yeah? So when you put your arms ahead, ladies, I want you to feel the shoulder blades draw down, like as if you're trying to stick your scapula, your shoulder blades underneath your bra strap, yeah? And if the bra strap that goes around your body. You're not the one that goes over your shoulder. Okay, so you want to feel as if you're sliding that down there. Feel like you have pockets. Or for the men, you'd want to slide them into your back pockets. So you're not crowding your, your shoulders, your ears up here. You're pulling them down. So let's do that a couple of times. Crowd the shoulders up and then pull them down and feel that connection all across the ribcage. That's your lats and your serratus posterior and anterior. And then you're opening through those rhomboids, yeah? So hold that there, feel that mid back is broad. Feel the legs are long and the hip distance apart. I'm gonna open through my chin and chest, like what we did before. And I'm gonna lift my right arm and my left leg. And then I'm gonna lower that down and lift the other side. Really reaching up and feel those glutes working. Now I want you to draw the tummy up while you're doing that so that you don't twist into the spine. You just lift the limbs. Okay, it's very easy to twist the spine when we're doing this, and that's not the idea for, for now at least. Okay, just lengthening away. You can feel the cross pattern of the body working, but you don't wanna feel that shifting of the pelvis or the shoulders. You just wanna feel the hip extensors and the shoulder flexors working, okay? Reaching that there, and the back extensors obviously and reach. Let's go one more side and then we will try the full swimming. Okay, take it all down, rest for a second. Just stick your bum in the air, give your back a little break. <laughs> Good, and then tuck your tailbone underneath again and lengthen up. 
Good. Now we're going to lengthen up the arms, both of them and the legs, if it's available to you. Otherwise, leave them down and go to the first one we did. And then opposite arm to leg lifts and just swim and swim. <sighs> inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Legs are straight. Tummy is pulled in. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, hold everything up. Draw the arms back down. Bring those hands underneath us. Turn the toes under and press yourself up for me into your half plank. Very nice. Now from our half plank, you're going to stay there for me and go into another exercise. Go straight into your plank. And feel those Achilles stretching as you press your heels back, right? Draw the tummy in. Hold that plank. Hold that plank. Hold that plank. Let's lift your right leg out and lower that. Lift the left leg out and lower that. Come back onto the knees and then into a long cat stretch. Just counter stretching the spine, reaching out there. And then drawing the spine back up and lengthening away again. Come back into your plank, holding that there. Lift that leg again. Let's go three and two and one. And change legs, zipping up and three and two and one. Press into those heels. Bring those knees in. Into your cat stretch. Inhale there. Exhaling there. Walk the arms in and all the way up to kneeling nice and tall. Very good. Everybody good? Okay. Now, we're normally we do our um, side lying like now, but I want to do a little challenge for us. <laughs> Since we're doing our classical exercises this today, I'm just checking our timing. Oh, wait, we have to hurry up. Good. Okay. So from here, we're going to do a kneeling side kick, which is a nice with, um, introduction with the um, side bend as well. So we're on our knees. We want to have the feet behind the legs. The body's nice and upright. Okay. So don't be slumping into yourself. You want to really be nice and upright, just like you were standing up. Good. Arms come to the side. While you're here, I want you to lift your, let's lift the leg, any leg. Just make sure you have space. Okay. I'm going to lift that leg and bring it out here. Bring the, the um, foot onto the mat and it's just slightly in front of the hip, okay? But the hips are still square. Now that's the key here, to keep the hips square so you're really working into this glute. Keep that lift here, so that, except as, otherwise you're gonna be here, right? So you really wanna get that hip joint organized. That's why I say to bring the foot slightly forward, okay? So that the leg is organized. Now from here, Feeling that stretch into the ankle. Are you feeling that? I am for sure. And we're gonna to go to the side and then lengthen the body and feel that nice stretch up the side of the body. Draw the belly in, reach that over. Take the support in this hand and then this arm is going to come here. So I'm really supporting into my leg and just a little bit into my armpit, balancing with this hand. Lengthen that toe now, nice and long. And we're going to lift that leg and lower. Let's go for six. The elbow is pointing to the ceiling. The spine is long, reaching, reaching, reaching. Let's go two more. Think of lengthening. Let's go one more. Hold this up. Flex the foot. Circles there for three, two, and one. And opposite. If you find your knees a little sore, you can kneel on a cushion. Or you can roll your mat, double up your mat, hold that there. Okay, now bring that leg forward and bring that leg back. Bring that leg forward and bring that leg back. Let's add that point to two. Bring that leg forward and bring that back. Support into that supporting bum cheek and lengthen back. Let's go two more. Bring it forward and lengthen out. Bring it forward and lengthen out. Bring it to neutral. Bring that foot back down, beautiful, and stretch the body out. Press into that foot nicely. Lift out of the waist, feel that lift. And now we're gonna take that bottom leg and take it behind that other leg and get into our side bend. Take a breath in there, lift the body, lower the body, and bend into those knees. Feel that stretch in the lower part of your body and then hover down. Breathing in. Feel the stretch into the hips 
as you hold that there. Square yourself up, okay? Let's go again. Inhale, pressing up. Reach nice and long, reach out. Lengthen up, over, bring that hip down. Float and hover. And then slowly come down. Very nice. Now you can release your wrists if you want. We're gonna just go one more to come up and out of it. Lifting up, bring our leg back underneath us. Lift and back to center. Very nice, ready for the other side? Good, can you feel that hit those bums working, right? <laughs> ah, I did I give a little shock to your system. Okay, and bring that leg out. Again, you wanna feel that foot on the mat so that you can get the stretch into the ankle, really important at this point. Um, that leg is just in front, it's not actually in line because it's gonna be uncomfortable in the hip. Hip is organized, really centered in here, lifted out of the body. Remember setup is 85% of the exercise. We're not set up right, we're not doing the exercise right. And let's reach over, pressing the foot into the mat and the finger away so that you can feel the stretch into this body. Push the hips forward, squeeze into the glutes. So you feel the lower back is long. It's not gonna be arching out in the lower back, okay? Now let's take the weight into that knee and balance with that arm and then point that two. Okay, so let's lift that leg for six and five and four. Keep squeezing the glutes, three, and pushing the hip forward, two. One way I think we did this extra one here, hold it up and circle that leg. Let's flex that foot and circle that leg, reaching it around. Let's go in the opposite direction, three, two, one. And then let's bring that front and back. Front, trying not to move the body at all, reaching back. Front, let's extend and point that toe behind. Bring that in front and point. And bring that forward, point. Let's go one more. Bring that front and point that back. Take it to center, beautiful, and lengthen that down. Get yourself a nice stretch. Good, take the weight into that arm as well so we can take that leg behind. Nice big stretch, bring that arm and hover. Feel that stretch. Soften the knee and float that hip down. Very nice. And let's go again, reaching up and reach over. Bring that arm up, down into that lower body stretch. Feel all from the ankle stretching and then hover and lower. Beautiful, let's come up one more time. Reach, bring that knee underneath us. Organize the body and bring that in. Fantastic, shake those hands out. Let's get a little massage into those hands. Good, very nice. All right, so let's stretch that out with our seal. Okay, ladies, so we're gonna stretch that out with our seal arm um, stretch, and then we're gonna go into the rule. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my leg like a figure of four stretch, but I'm gonna facilitate that by pushing my arm through here, yeah? And bringing that wrist, that wrist now, ankle towards my opposite chest, okay? And then I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. So you really feel that stretch into the hip that we just worked, and then try to get that chest really tall. If the leg is active, and then bring that leg forward and roll forward into that. Just feeling that stretch. So you're pushing open the knee, just stretching into that joint. And uncurling, bring it back up and release that leg. Take the other leg in. So again, I'm threading my arm through here so I can push my knee open as I bring that ankle towards my chest. Draw my belly in and I lift into my spine, active into the bottom leg, really trying to lift open my chest. And let's roll over that, deepening that stretch all the way down the back, still into that hip. Draw the belly in away from the thighs to lengthen the lower back as well. And then I'm curling all the way to the top. Good. So we both feet in for our seal. Now our seal is rolling, so you don't want to rock on anything at the back, okay? Nicely in here. We're going to clap, two, three, roll, one, two, three, and roll. One, 
two, three, and roll. One, two, three. One, two, three. Roll. One, two, three, and roll. One, two, three, and roll. One, two, three, and roll. Last one. One, two, three. Just really have some fun with this one. Two, three, and rolling up. Very nice. Good. Release those legs. Stretch that out. Get a big stretch over your legs. Take a big breath. And then roll all the way back down. Grab your little cushion, if you have one. Put it behind your head. Have some birds fighting behind you. <laughs> or dancing with each other. Okay, so from here, let's end how we started, okay? So let's get the um, legs nice and wide open. Let's get the arms really nice and wide away from the body. Let's get the neck long. You can lose a pillow if you don't want it. And let's just work on that breath work. Just feel the breath opening out the body, closing your eyes and just relaxing through the body from your feet. All the way up to the crown of your head. And just walk you through it. So you want to be thinking about inhaling about six counts. And exhaling about six counts. So with your eyes closed, you're just going to scan your body. Relaxing the legs, the toes, the feet. Relaxing the pelvis. If you're more comfortable with your knees bent, go ahead and bend your knees. Relaxing the chest, the arms. Shoulders. Relax on the face and bringing the attention to the breath, completely to the breath now. Allowing it to just relax the heart as you go into a slow, nice rhythm. Feel your belly relax. As the breath just massages the organs. The movement of the diaphragm gives a little pressure and release to the internal organs. Stimulating your digestion. Stimulating all these bodily activities, processes. Just bring your, breath, your attention back to that breath. Just allowing yourself to release and feel focused. And let's just bring those legs together. Eyes are still closed. Bring those feet onto the mat, bending the knees. And just bring your right knee towards your chest, just stretching out your back. Breathing out. And let's just switch legs. And releasing that down. And then you can just lift your head back and shoulders, take a breath into the back. And then release that back down. Bring the arms up overhead. Take a nice deep breath. 
just gathering up all that beautiful energy around you, full of gratitude and focus. Bring those arms again to the legs, lift your head, neck and shoulders as you're breathing into the back again. And exhale again, release that back down, stretching it through the chest, opening yourself up to all opportunities for the rest of your week. Bring those arms towards your legs, breathing into the back, lift your back, breathing into that. And then on your exhale, just go ahead and slide your legs away. Help yourself up to come all the way. Nice seated position, stretching through that. And release. And that, my dear, is our session for today. Let's take a nice deep breath. And a deep breath out. Focus yourself. Just turning your head from side to side. Checking out the scene that everything is safe in your surroundings. Being grateful for your surroundings. Look at your ceiling, a roof over your head. I know four years ago, I couldn't do that. So praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me and have a great week. <laughs>